Hello everyone, I've come down here today to what is one of my favourite locations in the whole of Cornwall and I've come down specifically to photograph waterfalls. There are two waterfalls down here just behind me a bit further into the wood and they both present problems trying to photograph them so what I suggest we do is we go down there, I'll get my gear set up and I'll talk you through how I tackle them. So let's go down and we'll get started. Well here we are at the first location, this is the first waterfall. This one's not quite as dramatic as the next one we're going to, but I'm just going to wander around a little bit first and try and figure out whether to use my 35mm lens or whether to go wider and I've got an 18mm lens with me as well. So I've, I've had a little bit of a look and I'm kind of coming round to think and use my 35mm, but I'll just, I'll just wander around and I'll just keep checking that. I, it's got to be, it's got to be 35 mil. 18 mils just a bit too wide. So I'll get set up, and then I'll talk you through the settings on the camera. Okay. I hope you can hear me okay above the the noise of the water. It's pretty loud. If by any chance when I get back and load this onto the computer, if you can't hear the audio, I'll put on a, a voiceover. So I ho hopefully it'll be okay. I've decided there's quite a bit of light coming in through the top of the the frame um, and I've tried to cut as much of that out as possible the way I've framed it up in the viewfinder but I'm going to add a 0.9 medium density filter soft edge one and that will cut the light back it's just coming in creeping in through the top of the, the frame so I get that lined up looks good and I'm also, I'm shooting at ISO 100, it's an aperture of f8. Now f8 won't get me focused from foreground right all the way through to the back. So I'm going to focus stack this image and I'll photograph, I'll, I'll focus stack it on three separate points. There's a couple of rocks down in the foreground. I'll fo I'll, first of all I'll focus on that, I'll take the shot. And then I'll focus on the waterfall itself and take that shot and then I'll move further back, much closer to the, the far distance there, and I'll focus on that. And when I get back into Lightroom and Photoshop, I will then merge all three to get a nice, hopefully, image that's sharp all the way through. So I'll get lined up now. I'll get my focus set. You see, focusing on, there's a little rock down the bottom left. Focus on that first of all. I've got a two second self timer on to reduce any chance of movement when I press the shutter speed. So we'll take that first shot. That looks good. And then I'll move my focal point up. And across into the center of the waterfall. Focus on that. Then take that shot. Looks good. And then third shot, I'm moving the focal point right right far away almost in the far distance. Focus on that and take that shot. And that all looks good. So I'll stick that on the screen for you now and you can have a look at it.
Okay, I'm all set up now here at this second waterfall. This one's a little bit easier, actually. The light is a bit more even all the way across the whole image. So I'm not using my ND filter. I do have a polarizer on the front now just to try and cut down some of the glare coming off the water. The actual shot itself, again, I'm going to focus stack it over three images. Again, focusing, there's a rock right in the foreground. Focus on that, then photograph in the middle of the scene and then take a third photograph up at the back. Once I've done all that, I'm then going to set up an exposure whereby I get good movement in the water and I'll photograph that. So what I'll do when I get back to the studio, I'll, in Photoshop, I'll blend the three images, to focus stack the images together to get a nice sharp image from front to back. And then the image that I've taken purely exposed for a, for a good movement in the water, I will then blend that in to the, the focus stacked image. So I'll take all these shots now and then when we get back to the studio I'll merge them and I'll put it on the screen for you to have a look. So first of all, focusing on the foreground. I've actually upped my ISO to 400 for this shot. I'm shooting at f11 and I'm at a tenth of a second. So I'll take that first shot now focused on the foreground. And then I'll change the focal point up to sort of midway through the image. Take that shot. And then the final image of focus right over on the background. Take that one. And then I'll change the settings so as I've got a good good shutter speed for the water to get good movement in the water. And I'll take that shot. That looks good. Okay, I'll put that on the screen for you now. That's me finished for the day here now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're wondering where it is, I haven't actually mentioned anywhere in the video where we are, and there's a reason for that. The reason being, there's quite a lot of maintenance work going on at the moment because there's quite a bit of erosion caused. We've had quite a increase in the number of visitors to this location over lockdown, and it has actually caused quite a bit of damage. So that's why I've not publicised where I am today. What I will say though is, however, if you're interested in finding out where I am, if you message me via my uh, email on my website, I'll certainly get back to you and I'll pass on the information to you. I just don't want to make it too public. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you hit the little bell notification icon, that means you'll get updated every time there's new content added. So thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.